for the pandemic ruined everything, including your work experience plans. Don't worry, I got you. Before we start, if you could give this video a like and subscribe, please, would appreciate it. Much love. We're going to talk about online work experience, online volunteering, in-person volunteering, and finally what else you can sort of do. Okay, so firstly, it's a myth that you need loads and loads of work experience. Um, barring the very few medical schools that have like a hard and fast limit, so for example, Warwick has like a minimum uh, requirement of 70 hours of work experience, most medical schools are quite flexible. It's more about what you've gained from the work experience rather than how much of it you've done. But there's no point doing loads and then just not learning anything from it about you know what life is like as a doctor. With that being said, um, there are a couple of ways you could do work experience online. So Brighton and Sussex Medical School, BSMS, have released this really quite good, um, it's like a big full on course of like, it gives you like a background into the NHS and then it gives you like insight into each of the roles and the skills you need to sort of excel at each role. So I would definitely recommend doing that. So you've also got the Royal College of GPs and they've produced a resource called Observe GP. Um, so you've also got the Royal College of GPs and they've produced a resource called Observe GP and this is eight videos long and it gives you insight into the roles of like a GP, a receptionist, practice manager, advanced nurse practitioner and a GP trainee. So again that's really beneficial because you also get to look at the other roles within the healthcare team. You know ignore the shirt by the way, I don't know why I wore this one. I bought it long before he did all his nonsense like so. Justin Trudeau is like kind of semi-cancelled at the moment, but I do want to have to do laundry, so... Okay, so this isn't a um, resource as such, but it's something I wish that I kind of had known about when I was applying to medicine, and it's the NHS Health Careers website, and you can read about all sorts of healthcare careers on there, not just doctors, but the doctor one is really quite good, and it gives you really like sort of in-depth, like a look at, you know, why become a doctor, um, the sort of things you'll be doing and the different types of doctor and all that sort of thing so it's really good as well for that. The Medical School Council released a document which is kind of trying to like support students that are applying for places at medical school during COVID-19 and they've recommended that you keep a reflective diary so even if you're watching things like um, YouTube videos or documentaries or reading like newspaper articles which have like frontline experiences of people you know like working with COVID it's worth keeping abreast of those current topics and keeping a diary on those and also reflection is like a really useful skill to have like when you start working as a doctor um, and even in medical school like they love a bit of reflection so it's definitely worth um, getting into the habit early. Okay online volunteering so I'm sure as you all know volunteering and work experience kind of go hand in hand and volunteering is a really good way to show that you're a good person sort of person they want to become a doctor always a plus. So um, there are a few different ways you can volunteer online. So one of the ways you can volunteer online is by volunteering with a charity called Reengage, and this is like a sort of telephone service where you talk to sort of primarily elderly people who might be a little bit lonely especially because of lockdown and shielding and all the rest of it. So there's lots of other different ways you can volunteer online so I'll actually leave um, all the links in the description of the different places you can sort of find online volunteering. Finally you can also do in-person volunteering so there's a sort of database called doit.org and you can go there put in your postcode and then find out about all the volunteering opportunities near you because they don't necessarily need to be medical related um they can just be sort of volunteering opportunities and like ways you can help out and show that you're engaging with the community and develop those skills that you need to be a doctor i guess another option that i do feel is quite often overlooked is providing care to people in their homes. So this is something that I did uh, before I started medicine at my current medical school and I personally found it really rewarding and it definitely gave me a lot of unique perspectives. So like I used to look after like a little boy in his home with like sort of the daily things that he sort of did and it gave me like quite a good insight into like the medical profession especially because because of his like needs um, he'd often be in the hospital a lot um, and then I'd like go into the hospital and like look at look after him and also gave me like a good perspective, like so talking to like his parents and his sister and like um, meeting the different healthcare professionals that would like come to the house. I personally found that really useful and I got paid for it as well. So that was really sick. So definitely if you're like looking for like a part-time job, maybe looking at agencies that offer like care in people's homes or sort of like work as a personal assistant. But finally, whatever you do end up doing, um, make sure you reflect on it properly and 
yeah get the most out of it otherwise it's kind of just a waste of time but links for everything will be in the description best of luck with your medicine application journey and if you have anything specific that you want me to make a video on then please drop it in the comments bye